Second generation inhibitors versus crizotinib is still, I think, an open question and is being addressed in ongoing trials to actually randomize head-to-head -head against crizotinib. They certainly look very um, potent like they uh, in the clinic as they do preclinically um, compared to crizotinib. Um, but whether they'll really replace crizotinib in the first line setting is, I think, unknown. Certainly, second generation EGFR inhibitors um, looked essentially the same as uh, erlotinib um, when they were compared in the first line setting. But they also didn't have very much activity in the setting in the second line setting. The ALK inhibitors are unique in that they have a lot of activity in the second line setting, um, and at least in the first line setting in Japanese populations, electinib has shown really quite tremendous response rate and um, duration of response. So I think it is certainly possible that they may replace crizotinib ultimately, although only the head-to-head -head studies will tell us that for sure, whether they'll really translate into a more durable response than crizotinib has. There are planned head-to-head -head studies of both electinib versus crizotinib. Um, there's an ongoing phase two randomized study of the area drug ASP26113 AP26113, excuse me, um, and uh, there are ongoing studies of cetirinib or LDK378 versus crizotinib, so all of them are being compared to crizotinib. The primary difference between the second generation inhibitors is uh, their potency, and it was thought really that the um, role or the niche that they would uh, have is for crizotinib-resistant mutations that occur within the ALK gene itself. Many of those inhibitors are, have very good potency against known secondary mutations that occur in the ALK gene after um, treatment with crizotinib. However, what we've seen in the clinical trials that have been done to date is that these agents seem to have activity across a broad spectrum of crizotinib resistance, meaning the response rates that we've seen with all of the agents have been well above 50%. We know that secondary mutations in ALK occur at a rate of